La 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 la. Hello my friends. Welcome to the 30 days rank post challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 7 today, so the first week is over. Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today, we will talk about two attack items, Corrosion Scythe and Wind Talker. First, the 5 shoutouts of today goes to Scar, Nabil Marwan, AA Azif, Cloudly and Virak PGM. If you want to have the chance to get a shoutout in the next video, just write something nice in the comments. Last quick note, don't forget about the giveaway, I'm running for the challenge. The rules and all information you need, you will find in the description box below. Now, let's get into the meaty part. We go first through the stats of Corrosion Scythe. You get plus 50 physical attack, plus 25% attack speed and plus 5% movement speed. It has two effects. The first one is called Corrosion. Each basic attack that deals damage to an enemy reduces the target movement speed by 8% for 1.5 seconds. Two important notes. First, the effect is kept at 5 stacks, so the maximum slow effect is 30%. And secondly, the effect is half for range basic attacks, so only 4% reduction per stack and maximum 15%. The second effect is called Impulse. Each basic attack that deals damage to an enemy increases the attack speed by 8%. This effect lasts for 3 seconds. And it's also kept at 5 stacks, so the maximum attack speed bonus is 30%. Importantly, this effect is not half for long range basic attacks. That only applies for the first effect. To break down the item's effect simply, you slow down the enemy and increase your attack speed with it. So a perfect item to catch escaping enemies. For the demonstration, I'm using Badang. First, you can see how Layla gets slower and slower. Next you see the increased attack speed. Before it was 1.82 and afterwards 2.22 or 22. So, who is this item made for? You can use it for all heroes who need attack speed. An example could be 1-1. I'm building this item as a first core item to increase her attack speed massively. If you're not using it in your normal build, you could also build it to counter heroes who have a high movement speed, either to catch them when they try to escape or to slow them down if you need to escape. You can combine it with Golden Staff if you're not going for crit damage to trigger the passive quicker. Quickla? Quicker. Otherwise, I will include other attack speed items into your build. Now, let's talk about Wind Talker. We start again with the stats. You get a whopping plus 40% attack speed, plus 10% crit chance and plus 20 movement speed. It has also two effects. The first is a long one and it's called Typhoon. When you hit an enemy with a basic attack, another basic attack hits up to 3 enemy units, dealing 150 to 362 magical damage. This effect has a cooldown of 5 to 3 seconds, which drops to the minimum cooldown time when your crit chance rises to 50%. The damage rises when the attack speed rises up to 3. This effect can also deal crit damage. Also take note that enemy units are including minions as well, but not jungle creeps. To minions, this effect deals 200% increased damage. If you're overwhelmed by this many informations, don't worry, I will detail show it to you in the demonstration section. But first, we will have a look at the second effect. It's called Activate. Each time the first effect is casted, your movement speed will increase by 5% for a short amount of time. Simple, right? Now, let me demonstrate you the effects. For this, I'm using my beautiful tank Layla. After hitting the enemy with my basic attack, you see this frisbee-like thing appear. It's going to hit now the three enemies. As mentioned, it also works on minions and deal more damage. So this effect is also very useful to clear waves quickly. When only one enemy is nearby, it will not hit this enemy three times. Each enemy is only hit once. Showing 5% more movement speed is really difficult, so you just have to believe me. So, who is this item made for? It's mostly used by marksmen, examples are 1-1, one -one, Mia or Layla, because they greatly benefit from all basic stats and also from the effect from the passives. They can clear minion waves much faster this way. I also like to use it on Jord for example, to massively increase his attack speed after building other attack items. I will combine it with other crit or attack speed items, since this item is mainly used by heroes who need these two stats. Lastly, we have today's secret keyword for the giveaway. It is... Can you guess it? Speed. Again, all infos about the giveaway you find in the description. Now, go and check out the whole playlist, or if you are a daily viewer, see you tomorrow.
Have a great day.